All right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's too early. It's it's too it's too early. Sec uh, like it's way too early for this. God damn. Anyway, Pokemon Day, right? Uh, uh, that's what we're doing. Uh. Well, I'm a little way a little bit early, like maybe 45 minutes early. Um, I did say I was going to go live at 6.30, but I decided, you know what? I might as well beat the rooster before it croaks. That way I could shoot it and choke it and stomp it to the ground. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Um, first off, I want to say thank you for coming over. Uh, the other thing, though, I want to mention is I uh, do apologize. I wasn't streaming yesterday. A nice little haboob. Yes, a dust storm. That's that's what they're called. They're called haboobs. Uh, they uh, it, it kind of fucked up the, my entire internet. Let's put it that way. Um, so I um, I was without internet for like maybe a good hour or two, and then they brought my uh, my ISP brought my internet back up. But then it was so damn unstable. And the haboob was still going on. That uh, I, I basically was like, "Fuck it, not streaming." So I've been I've been monitoring monitoring it left and right all night. Matter of fact, I went to bed at six or I'm sorry, nine nine at night. Um, but I woke up at three because I couldn't sleep anymore. So, oh yeah, also I swamp. Uh, Swap's going to be joining us for this direct as well. Just the direct, or the presents, whatever the fuck you want to call this. Um, he'll be joining us for this. So, I won't be alone watching this. I also did bring the weapon of choice for my demise. Um, if you haven't been here in the last two or three weeks, you would know... That a big heated discussion has been brought up on the channel, which is the Master Collection Mania, right? So, I, I made a deal with chat. I, um... I said this, okay? I said, look, if we get Gen 1, 2, and 3 ports to the Switch, whether it's a collection, NSO, and it has home compatibility, I will drink a bottle of hot sauce. Now, I up the ante because you know I'm I'm an asshole. That's what I do. I, I up the fucking ante, just ever so slightly. Also, oh nice, my frames are dropping. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So the internet is still fucked. Just a little, just slightly. So if I go offline, this may this may be a situation where I have to pre-record. I hope I don't have to. But Sparklight has not fixed everything apparently. Gotta love when you pay a hundred ten dollars a month uh, on an internet, only for them to fuck it up royally. Regardless, uh, so. I did buy a bottle of ghost pepper hot sauce as a punishment to me eating my fucking words. Because if you don't remember, uh, a while ago, I um, I made a stinky uh, opinion saying that they wouldn't do this. It's too much work. Um, it's too much work. Not in the lazy Game Freak sense, but it's too much work for Game Freak to actually do this. Right? It's too much of their plate to ask for. So, I, I wagered, I wagered my my existence, and was like, "Hey, fuckers, guess what? If I'm right, I don't gotta drink this hot sauce. If you're right, I'll drink it." So that that's kind of that's the wager right now. So I'm really hoping that this doesn't happen. Granted, I want it to happen as well, right? But that's not where we're... That's that's kind of the gist here with that. Um, as every time, 
as I do these presents. I am as neutral and low-level expected as, as I possibly can. Um, Pokemon is something that I grew up with and I continue to enjoy and appreciate and love even if I have my own really autistic way of doing it, which is screaming at the top of my lungs about how bad Kanto is and, uh, you know, reminiscing the days of Gen 3. So, you know, it's no surprise that when people are ranting and raving about, you know, current gen and bullshit and crazy insanity bullshit and find reasons to complain, it's nice to just take a step back and just have low expectations coming into this and not really expecting what you want. So that's kind of how I, I go about this approach, okay? With that being said, here's what I think may happen, okay? 20, uh, it's a 20 minute to presents, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, I, as far as I remember, um, Swampert's booting his PC up right now. Cool, cool, I'll see you here in a minute, man. I'll see you here in a minute. Check on your internet though too, cause like it might be spot yours might be spotty too. A lot of the ISPs last night are fucked. Like it, it's been nonstop with that shit. So here's kind of like my my base ground with this. Okay, expect a lot of mobile shit. I definitely can guarantee you the DLC is going to be announced. That's a definite. Everything else is speculatory. Okay, at that point, it's it's whatever the fuck sticks at the wall. I kind of mentioned a little bit that I, I feel like the Master Collection might be me mentioned. Home update definitely might be mentioned if not announced today. It's a possibility. Um, there is rumors of Let's Go Johto being a thing, which I hope not, because you know how I feel about Let's Go. I, I want to kill myself if that's the case. Um, I'm not a big fan of Let's Go. I'm sorry. I'll play it. I'm just not a big fan. I've also heard Legends Johto. I've also heard Legends Kirim. I've heard Unova remake made by Ilka. Okay. I've heard a 2.5T Johto game as well. A lot of Johto. Okay. I have heard of a Mystery Dungo game being mentioned at one point because Spike Chunsoft, I guess, is doing something. Um, and normally when Spike Chunsoft is involving themselves with Pokemon, you, you can guarantee your ass that there's going to be a Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon game or a spinoff. I can guarantee possibly something in, co in collaboration with Go. If you know what I mean, it's the Gimme Cool event. I, I'm, I'm feeling like that's that's that's, that's a, a big guarantee. But everything else is speculatory, like I said. Uh, like, like I said, this is all kind of spitballing at the wall here. And obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot shit at Swampert when he gets on, because you know he's gonna he's gonna shoot shit at me. But um, basically, yeah, th th that's kind of what we kind of have going on right now. Um, really though, um, my, my main, my main thing, right, my main thing is a lot of people have been spouting Kalos with this DLC, and there are more and more people, rumor-wise, saying that that's, like, a thing, specifically. I, I'm gonna go in the air of caution and say it's probably not, okay? However... And I'm gonna eat my fucking words. Riddler Koo had put a has been spewing out fucking riddles right now. Um, the last one that I saw before I went live was uh, I want to say it had to do with Magnezone, but he's been going crazy with this shit. But there's there's a lot of fucking crap here to really work around. Zygarde is mentioned in it right now as well, which is scary. Um, Green is mentioned in his riddle. 
Uh, Swamper, when you're ready, just DM me. Let me know when you're ready. There we go. Hello? Can you hear me? I can't hear you for shit. Why is it every time I do these stupid fucking calls? Every fucking time. I always fuck up the settings. Here. I don't know. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, uh, Florida man. How are you? Good. How is you? I- I is dead inside. It's 6.30 in the fucking morning. I've been up since 3 in the morning. Damn. Yeah. So- so funny, man. What- what- what do you think? Also, I- I kind of threw out my cards on the table about this. So what do you think? Should I just want Gen 3 on the Switch? I don't want to drink ghost pe pepper sauce on stream. I want Gen 3, but I don't- I don't want to drink this bottle. I really don't. Like, this- okay, so th this bottle is insanely red. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. I don't show it. I'm not gonna show it because I don't have a webcam, but... I need to get- I actually ordered- I actually did order one recently, though, too, for a project. Anyway, so you just want Gen 3 on Switch. That's- that's more than likely gonna be the case. Have you been, uh, have you been keeping an eye on VP? Lately? Not lately, no. No. Oh. All I can say is a lot of people on VP who've been spouting the funny shit, a lot of them have been saying three things. DLC is definitely gonna have something Kalosian related. 2.5D Johto game. And then, new female protagonist, uh, new female, uh, protagonist or rival. And, uh, Riddler Koo is putting riddle riddles like hell right now. Have you seen them? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. So, I I'm a little nervous. We'll see. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Snakey, that's a lot of Pokemon. Are, have, you, are, have you been s still struggling on the Great Marsh? By the way, good job on you helping her with that, Swamp. Oh, uh, no problem. I just have a shit ton of Pokemon, like, extra Pokemon left over on the 3DS games. <laughs> You're just like, I don't- I don't fucking care. Uh, take them. So, um... So, how have you been, bud? Hang on. Uh, I've been good. I'm having some cool, funny audio issues right now because I recently got new headphones, and, uh, yay! No. Oh. Is that, like, microphone issues, or is that yeah, headset, headset issues? Headset, uh, because funny... What's it called? Uh, speakers... THX... Uh, hold up. Okay, say something real quick. Your mother. Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Can you not hear? What, what, like, what's the situation? Um, none of my desktop audio is capturing. None of your desktop audio is capturing? On what, OBS? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Did you go into- let me look here. I'm gonna look in my shit, that's filters. Am I- every fucking time, man. Um... I just usually have my shit set up to where it's like on desktop audio and then I just keep desktop audio on default. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, man. So, uh... So I almost died yesterday, Swamp. That funny, that funny, oh. fu that funny haboob. Well, there goes my alarm telling me to wake the fuck up again. I set so many fucking alarms. Because <laughs> normally when I set alarms, I'm like, my body's like, okay, let's just go the fuck back to sleep. Yeah, I wish I had that problem. I, I couldn't fucking sleep for hell. Between two cats who, who keep sleeping on my fucking legs and my insomnia, there, yeah, there's no way I'm getting sleep. 
my dog is giant and he's like 120 pounds and he sleeps on my legs so what kind of dog do you have a black lab Ooh. how old is he 11 oh oh he's he's nearing his end kind of I, I don't want to say i don't want to jinx that first off but Black lab labs are always nice dogs. When I when I worked at the animal shelter, I always liked the labs because they were very friendly. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, even the pit bulls were friendly over there. Like, not all of them were friendly, but there were some where we'd let them like run around the office area, and I'd let them chill in my office. So I don't know. I just ended up having cats because I never have time to take care of dogs, sadly. Snakey says, I'm still suffering though, and at this point, I'm probably gonna assist bot spinned up in plus hole because I cannot be bothered to deal with all the trophy garden and swarms as well. Uh, I am not dealing with two more time based gimmicks, and I'm so tired of them. Dexing and Sinnoh is miserable. Yes, I'm saying Sinnoh, all these dumb fucking gimmicks existed in. <laughs> I don't blame Snakey, honestly, because I, I... fucking. <laughs> I'm clapping. You, can, you can't transfer. What's it called? You can't transfer Spinda, which is so bullshit. What do you mean? It's it's just clearly because Spinda's so fucking drunk. You don't want a Spinda drinking and driving, you know? So you don't want it to- you, you can't let it go out of the house. Don't drink and drive. Anyway. <laughs> I can just see Spinda getting in the car. Being like, I'm gonna go to Sino, Brilliant Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> no, Spinda, no! Well, Snicky, I hope I hope you're almost done with Dexing and Sino. Like, what is she trying to accomplish? Because every time she tells me about this, I always forget. Like, what is she trying to do? I think it's uh, I think it's a living Dex. Oh. Oh. Casual Sinnoh is amazing. Dexing Sinnoh is horrible. Yeah, you know, my one biggest issue with Sinnoh, to be honest, is how in the end it forces you to, like, if you want to access the other content to the game, you need to have the Nat Dex. That's my biggest issue. It's like, I don't want to just find, like, the last fucking Pokemon that I know where it is, but my brain is, like, having a brain fart. That one would that one would be Gibble for me, by the way. I remember as a kid. As a kid. I was looking for one Pokemon. I couldn't figure out which one it was. It was fucking Gibble. It was the last Pokemon, excluding Spirit Tomb. Oh my god. Hey, listen, let's be happy. We don't have to deal with Spirit Tomb anymore. The way we we have what to do it. The one percent munch lacks bullshit. Actually, you know what? I find that more doable than fucking Spirit Tomb back in the day. Do you have a link to the stream, by the way? Set up yet? I, 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 they've had it set up since like 12 hours ago, my guy. Because I only see the Japanese one in my recommended. Yeah, I see the Japanese one as well. That's the one I actually have set up, funny enough. Uh, yep, that's the only one at the moment. Uh, nope. Actually, here. Well, they have the we have the British one. Ah, here we go. Here's here's this one. Here, I got you. Well, they had the Japanese one set up for twelve hours. They just set up these ones here. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome, my my fine Giga Chad. So, uh, so what's this about killing furries in Arizona? I don't know. It it was like some sort of bill that they passed to like, or that that like they're voting on. I don't fucking know to like stop kids from identifying as wolves and shit like that in schools or whatever. No, oh. I'm gonna turn this Fortree City shit off. I just have a ruby and sapphire like OST playlist playing no i had fortree playing this whole whole time and it's driving me crazy <laughs> so 
Oi. Fun fact. Uh, like, oh wait, hold on. Let me read Snakey's messages. Like, full dexing Sword and Shield was so much fun. Which, 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 why is Sinnoh so painful? Because a lot of the, the pain and the growth because pain... Because it's a faithful remake, Snakey. Is she playing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, or is she doing, like, actual Diamond and Pearl? BDSP. Oh, BDSM. Ah, oh, okay. Brilliant Diamond, Diamond and Shining Masochism. Got it. Fuck. Um. Let's see. Fun fact, I've been passing around on my one spirit tomb from Sword and Shield to every Gen 8 game. That's kind of what I've been doing with all my spirit tombs that I've had from Gen 6. To be honest. I'm just changing the music. Uh. Lily Cove? I want to put Lily Cove on. You got the Archie and Maxi theme on. <laughs> You're, you're you're just fucking you're just fucking going crazy. There we go. Uh, I only have one spirit tomb, and that's just been passing around. Thankfully, spirit tomb and sword and shield is so easy. Just go to his fucking Oraz and like do the the, the, yes. aban the abandoned Your fucking shit quest. So easy in Oraz. You know what? I hate to say it, but when I first found out about Spirit Tomb, I almost like shat my pants because I didn't know it was in there till like the middle of Gen Seven. I didn't know it was there until the end of Gen Four when Cynthia had one. Swamp, you went like way back in time. I, I was talking about Gen Six. <laughs> I was talking about Ora as a Spirit Tomb. You're sitting here talking about Cynthia. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, man. I don't know. Cynthia was like in Oraz. Where, where'd you find her? Bondage, domination, sadism, pearl. I, I, I like to really think of it like as brilliant dick throb and shining masticism. That's kind of the vibe I get with those games. I don't know, Swamp. What do you think? What, what do you think about BDSP? Other than that they're... I... Faithful remakes. <laughs> I, th I like them. You know what? I, I think they do what they're supposed to do, which is yeah, make a paycheck. And faithful is is a little too strong. You know how like when you put a tea bag in a tea, and it's like, oh, it's a little too strong. That that yeah. that's that's BSP. I find it hard to go back to regular Diamond and Pearl. That's okay. I, I just know for a fact I have a long way to go before I before I go into Gen 4. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm looking forward to to Gen 3 playing Gen 3 on stream, but I'm not looking forward to being stupid and blind and having people scream at me about Coliseum and XD. Never played them. Ever. Bruh. I own XD. I actually have a physical copy of it. I've never touched it, though. Damn. Yeah. It was a good deal, too. I got it for, like, maybe 40 bucks on eBay. Full copy, like, full set and everything. Minus the Jirachi. Well, that's Coliseum. Never mind. Yeah, that was Coliseum with the bonus disc. Yeah, with the Jirachi disc. And if you're in Japan, Celebi. Yeah. I think they are fine and fun games and easily the low point of Gen 8. Yeah, yeah, like I said, Legends saved Gen 8. Somebody had mentioned the other day, though, too, that there's a possibility that um, Unova might get a Legends game. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, before they do any other region, you're thinking they're just going to jump straight into Unova. Now, I know there's a lot of copium in Gen 5. Because there's not enough representation for Gen 5. I, I, I just... Gonna get Legend, we're going to get Legends Mew before we get fucking... <laughs> 
Hey, you can't you can't disagree with me. If they if they can find a reason to pull Kanto out of their fucking ass for a quick buck, they will. <laughs> what what's not to love? It's Kanto again. Uh well, it's Kanto again. Snakey says, please, Legends Unova. I'll tell you what, I will bet my left nut that Legends Unova will will more than likely happen before uh we get another let's go uh johto game true then again that's been thrown around here as well uh i'm just saying right now legend charizard <laughs> legend uh pokemon origins uh red no i've said this enough in the past that they're gonna do kanto again we need it to be like how sun and moon kind of put like it fast forward into the future, like how red and uh, red and green were grown, or red and blue were grown up. Like yeah. I want to see a current modern Kanto. Phase out, same. Phase out the fucking old gym leaders. Bring in the new ones. You can even add Johto in the mix. Make K Johto for once be like the separate region. You know, because you can't really nowadays you can't separate those two. And but fix I, the level scaling in the Johto games. Listen, after playing Pokemon Uranium the other day, I, I don't even want to hear level sca scaling anymore. Fuck, fuck Uranium. That fix game. Lance and his level forty Dragonites. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, you just you just gotta have a Dugong, man. It's fine. A Dugong or a, a Jinx. Yeah, I was playing some Let's Go Pikachu yesterday, and I caught a level 3 Fero. <laughs> it still is abysmal to me how the how the level system in Go works to integrate into home. Motherfuckers could have, like, a level 1, a level, like, 2100 CP fucking shiny Dragonite. Transfer over to home, you end up like a level 2 fucking Dragonite. <laughs> yeah. How'd this happen? Oh, well, you know, uh, I transferred it over from another game. You cheater. No, it's not cheating. I transferred it over, fucker. The infinite untapped potential for Legends Unova. Make Johto actually interesting and not dependent on Kanto. How about this? Make Kanto actually fucking interesting and not dependent on nostalgia. Thank you. Actually, though, there is one game I, I would like to see make Legends, and that is Hoenn. Especially with the whole Draconoids shit. Mm -hmm. Someone on VP about the pin board says no Crystal Onyx, no buy. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, Game Freak! I want my Crystal Onyx. I want, I want my Crystal. I want my Crystal sucked clean. <laughs> uh, I saw one on VP the other day about how like. They just want, like, regular old, like, Pokemon Yellow Jinx back. And I'm, like, thinking, I'm, like, are you, are you sure about that? Do you know the story about old, yeah, I old know. color Jinx? Yeah. Yeah. How they had to recolor it for the virtual console version? Yeah. Yeah. They're, like, I just want old color Jinx back. I'm, like, <laughs> you, I'm like you have a better fucking chance of them doing that as, like, a shiny... Which, thank God, they brought the saturation back. Holy shit. Hoenn is unlikely since there's a ton of unexplained stuff there. It's kind of just the golems. I'm sorry, you, you fucking what, mate? Yeah. You, you fucking what? That's sacrilege on this channel. How, how fucking dare you? I, ho I hope you know. Owen's probably outside of like Sinnoh and Unova. Owen has a fucking very good reason to have a Legends game, and it's because of that. Especially the Mega Timeline, Owen. That, that shit. Well, I don't know. So I send it. You were funny. I saw them VP. Holy shit, Lois! It's Doc Rye from the hit Pokemon mm -hmm. Di Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum series. Me when uh, when Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl get re-released for the Nintendo fuck.
Gut. <lacht> What you got? Funny VP shit. You, you know what? <laughs> You know what? This this would make more sense if we were still in the Let's Go era. It's been a long. Oh my god! It's been a long. I would up. love to see this emerald with all the event islands unlocked. Yes, please. I just want to see Mirage Island once, for once in my fucking miserable life. I just want to see Mirage Island. You just want to go catch a bunch of why nuts? <laughs> I want that fucking lychee berry. What are you talking about? I just want that one spicy lychee berry and maybe a wine art or two, but you know, I, the lychee berry is what matters. You realize I'm going to have to cheat that shit in order, in order to access it, right? Yeah. Yeah. The whole point of the super show, man, I got to do everything. You should, if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, the originals, you should cheat in the nut ba nutty berry. The uh, what? The, the, wait, the, wait, what, Barry? <laughs> Nut tea. <laughs> is that, wait, is that a real thing? Yeah, it was an e-reader, Barry. Oh. Oh, that's right. There's like the e-reader battles. I know. I, I also know. need a Bulbapedia page for it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Well, so we have like about maybe 12 more minutes. The Nut P Barry. Oh, are you fucking serious? This is a real thing. It's glitched, and uh, if you connect it up with Emerald for the for the Poke Block making mini game, it's glitched, and it gives your Pokemon maxed out contest stats. Oh, uh, why is it? <laughs> it's the reason it's glitched is because a fucking um, it's because an Emerald shows up as an Enigma Berry. E get e readered. <laughs> I'm not even questioning about it being glitched. Why does it look like a penis? <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> why does it? Why does it look like that? I didn't know this existed. Holy fuck! I just learned something new today about Gen Three. Holy crap! You were today years old when you learned Nut Pea Berry. <laughs> I wonder if it's very creamy in the center of it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you take a bite out of it, it just squirts like white juices. Sheath berry. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Time out, chat. Sheath berry. It, it, you know, for a fact, somebody over there was like, hey, you know, what would be funny. Let, let's add a penis in the game. Oh, but didn't we add enough of those? You know, Combuskin, for example? No, oh, let's add another one. It's our little secret. Snakey says, this, that, that's the most furry shit I've seen ever seen out of Pokemon. Well, I'm sorry, Arizona. You can't have the Nut Pea Berry anymore. <sighs> sorry, guys. You know, deadass someone in the fucking localization thing was like, let's call it the nut pea berry. No one will catch on to that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I'm very, I'm very horny for the nut, no, nut pea berry. It's, it's a pretty good berry. Hey, uh, hey, uh, fucking Matsuda. Why, why don't you bring back the nut pea berry? I, I want, I want that berry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know where my mind went when I saw this image? Yeah. It, my mind went straight to fucking everyone who talks about Gen 5. Yeah, you know about that, something about that universe, sometimes about ba 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 da, boom hour. Me, when I talk to someone who's an avid who grew up in Gen 5. Okay, Boom Howard, chill the fuck out. We get it. New Jersey's the best. New York and New Jersey's the best Pokemon game. 
Give us the cockberry. Swampert, <laughs> you want the cockberry? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I can't believe- I'm just looking at the VP thread. I I'm just- So I'm just, many shit posts. I'm just fantasizing what this cockberry could do to me. What kind of fucking insane magical powers it would give me? Would it finally give me my lifelong dream of a 12 foot long penis? Would it- would it- <laughs> Would it give me penis nipples? You know, I'm gonna stop right there cause um... Don't need to blast someone out. Have you ever seen that by the way, Swap? Uh, no I haven't. Okay good, don't- don't look up penis nipples ever. Listen, there's some things I'm not a big fan. Uh, there's some things that I, I just choose to silently judge, and that's one of them. Oh, Flamey, don't kink shame. Uh, sh no. No, I shame. I, I click and I shame. We need the nut pea berry back. I need to put my nut in that nut pea berry. <laughs> do you think the nut pea berry is do you think the nut pea berry is in the cockboard? The best part about the nut pea berry <laughs> is your permitted entrance to the like cable club trade center to Pokemon in your party who's holding the nut pea berry. <laughs> <laughs> That that's how you know you're a real gamer. If you if you if you don't have the nut pea berry, you don't get access. I got it on my copy of Ruby because I downloaded a Japanese save and then like I just kind of transferred it over via methods of uh, PK hexing. Oh, so totally, totally legit methods. Got it. Okay. I wasn't going to buy those fucking stupid ass expensive e-reader cards. I, I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. Listen, that that's that's. Honestly, I would rather just take the time and hex at it, uh, a brand new fucking version of it. I'm pretty sure you could because, find it. Yeah, because PK Hex didn't have nut pay berry in its like data. I'm pretty sure you could go online and find a pay spin with the hexi hexi edit uh, hexi decimal for it. Yeah, true. Speaking of speaking of IT shit, how's your shit going? Uh it's going good. Got a few more months of this uh school bullshit yeah sam sam i i'm j i just finished with midterms and now and now i'm going to spring break and i'm i'm not excited because after spring break i now gotta go into my cybersecurity fundamental shit kill me please let me just tell you right now i've done a few it interviews already have you ever had a guy, I don't know if you've done any IT interviews yet, Swamp, but have you ever had a guy constantly fucking like fuck with you with terminology? And you're, yeah. and, and, you're and you're like, you're like thinking like, okay, I know what you're talking about, but please help me out and give me a hint here because I'm pretty sure you've been in this yeah. position before. I have many times. And it, it, it's like, it's like, oh, well. Chat, for those who don't know, I this is good. This is like really fucking. It's it's rudimentary, but great. One one great example of this is when you get a question of like about BIOS, right? And you explain to like a certain degree as to what it does or what it does for the OS, and then you you see this fucking guy, this fucker shit eating grin, and they're like, "Well, actually, that's for the master boot." But you're close, and I'm like, you motherfucker, you you have the job. You don't need to cockeye your way into teaching me a lesson here. Help a fucker out. <laughs> anyway, four minutes. I'm I'm just waiting for it to like fucking be able to fucking full screen this shit. 
Yo, I, I found a picture of you after they announced Gen 3. And I sent you <laughs> You you know you know what's you know Lugia. <laughs> you know what actually? Snakey says, oh hey, I grew up in Gen 5 and late Gen 4. Snakey, chill with the Boomhauer speech, man. We get it. Jer New Jersey and New York is the best region. Yep, that sounds about right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still eyeing this fucking bottle. I might as well just open it up. Just to get a, a reminder that this is my fate. I don't even, I don't even want to fucking... Oh, nice! It, it's so fucking potent that the fucking uh, that some of the 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 fucking seal got into it, and it looks like it ate the fucking seal. Oh! Yeah, that that doesn't smell nice. That's a that's a not as nice a nice smell. That's a smell of my asshole's gonna be burning lava. Hey Swamp, word of advice, man. Never open your fucking mouth, cause then you gotta hold yourself to to the to the standard. Yeah, I kind of figured that a long time ago. Yeah, I figured. I, I'm I've I've just now reminded myself of that. Uh, anyway, two more minutes. This is still not going. We're not popping up. If you refresh, you can see the live chat on the side. Yeah, I'm reading it. No, I'm, I'm hearing... Yo! Kalos DLC, please! And uh, I, I can see uh, people saying we. What's up, Abyss? How's it going? I'm here with Little Flammy. Everybody messes it up. It's Flammy! But yeah, hi! Woo. Everybody, everybody's screaming like Pokemon Sky and like Unova and Yo, there's a straw poll on VP. Let's let's see the results of this. It's for <laughs> if a Legends game will get announced. Here, I'll send you it. Yeah, let, let me not? see because I'm I'm curious. I'm, I'm I just saw this crowd on. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a butt plug my friend's new video. Um It's a Pokemon hot takes. Oh, I thought I thought you got a butt plug of the nut pea berry. I wanna see the results. I don't even want everybody's saying none right now. <laughs> I voted for none. I I'm gonna vote none as well. Why not? I, I, I'm gonna set the expectation. I'm gonna- no, you know what? I'm gonna put kill yourself. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm gonna be feeling here in about 60 seconds. Do you have the link to this to it? It would be nice if you could send me it. You need the link? No, to the video. To the video? Oh, you mean the stream? the the video my friend is doing or my my friend spent like a hundred hours editing that i think you should watch <laughs> uh oh is it gonna it's be pokemon hot takes oh oh no if i had to rank the regions unova hoenn sinnoh poldea galara alola kanto Kalos, Cho honestly it's getting to the point where just right typing all that shit out just to rank them is is getting absurd I, I, I was already saying that about, like, with Galar being involved. Now we have Hisui, Paldea involved, and also, how dare you, Swampert, saying that I forgot Almia and Fior. True. True. Oh! Oh, oh! Here we are! Hang on, where the fuck? Okay. Alrighty, chat. Alrighty. It's time.
You got it live? Yeah, I do. Just gonna turn this a little bit down. Ball. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that I can do. Alrighty, so are we all ready to, uh, to be disappointed? I, I mean, I'm scared. What am I fucking saying? I'm terrified at this point. Jesus Pikachu. fucking- Pikachu! Pikachu! Yeah! Hello everyone. What the fuck is that? I'm Kihara from the Pokemon Company. What is that? Today, February 27th, is Pokemon Day. Is that Detective Pikachu is too? The Pokemon Red and Pokemon Ishihara, what the fuck do you have next to you, my guy? Marking the beginning of the Pokemon what? series. <laughs> At the time, only 151 Pokemon had been discovered. But now that number has grown to over 1,000. Why does that thing look like it's it's been demonically summoned? Who have journeyed together with your Pokemon it looks like the, the Detective Pikachu without the hat. So it looks like it, it needs to be put to sleep. Don't worry, I got a bottle of euthanasia with its name on it. It fucking moved. It moved its head. Dude, it's so fucking first, uncanny. Like to talk about this year's By the way, I gave you the link to the thing. The first ever so you can see it at uh, 9 or 9.30 my time, whatever. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> Never speak again, Pikachu. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of my thought process. Company International. I, I kind of so glad to join you again. I cringed a little bit. Annual Pokemon World Championships. Nobody fucking this past cares. Year in London, unless you care. 10,000 trainers from all over the world gathered together to celebrate Pokemon and experience. Do you notice that. how his name is Chris Thank Brown, just like famous American singer songwriter Chris ever. Brown? And congratulations again to our newest. Do you think it's going to get slapped by Will Smith now I'd like as well? To share with you all some details. <laughs> yes, I hope so. <laughs> He's got slappable cheeks for the very first time. We look forward to no trainers one gives a the shit. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games, the Pokemon Training Card game. Pokemon oh, I Go, love the Pokemon Training Pokemon Card game. Unit. I love uh, August 11th to 13th at the Pacifico Yokohama. Pacifico Yokohama. Yes, decades, I could afford plane tickets. We created special artwork to honor each location that makes the world champion. Buy me a plane ticket, Chris Brown. Today, I am you make so much money for music. For Yokohama Listen, for you got a double chin time. forming there, my guy. Let's so uh, start start reddening those cheeks. What is this about? Oh, this is the art that they do for every location. Oh. The world See, I wouldn't know that because so I don't pay attention to competitive. Community from around the world I, knew you, I know you together. partially do, but I don't. We can't wait to see you there. And for those that can't make it, I did sure in the Gen 4, 5, and 6 era, but that was about it. Same. Thank you. No, thank you. With your slappable cheeks. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Why is this satanic no. fucking thing here? <laughs> we can't wait to see everyone together in Yokohama. Ishihara, this I can't year. focus with that demonic creature next to you. Moving on, please have a look at this video. Okay. Stop! Detective Pikachu 2, baby! Oh? Oh, this is not Detective Pikachu 2, is it? It's trading cards. What the cards. fuck is this? It's trading cards. Stop merchandising. Give me Detective Pikachu 2. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that Fat Pikachu that I saw? Are you doing more reprints of the Gen 1 cards again? Yes, because Kanto! Kanto, baby, Kanto! God, I love Kanto. I love sucking Bulbasaur's cock. I mean, Charizard's cock. As I say that, Venusaur gets pulled out. God damn it. Oh, there's the Zard. Kato! Woo! Kato! I love Kato! I want to suck that Blastoise off! Woo! Classic, baby! All the way! Did I get my point across that I don't like Kanto?
They they should have showed Pokemon the evil professor oak card. Fuck you. No, we we, we got enough. We got the evil prof we got the evil fucking demonic Pikachu that's next to Ichihara. Stop fucking moving. Nendo, my favorite company. Nendo. Yo. We'll be providing a sneak what they do product at the Pokemon World Championships. Um. So I hope it just sounds like Nintendo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Next. We'd like to announce a new Pokemon venture. To tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Oh, they're talking about the internet. Netflix. Mr. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Min Young Kim, and I oversee Netflix film and series from Asia Pacific. Was that you snoring? Thank you for having us here today. Yeah. And I'm oh, I thought that was the cameraman who was how we're bringing recording this woman <laughs> together for the first time this year. I would have been like, oh yeah, okay, Netflix, yeah, fair enough. Passionate about developing local programming that entertains audiences around the world. Unless it doesn't make them a so profit, today, then they cancel it one season later. If you're Netflix, lucky. In collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, the Pokemon Did she Pokemon? We yeah, she did. Of experts here in Japan <laughs> she did. Who are passionate about finding and developing original stories from Japan that can excite audiences all over the world. Okay, mom, where's the and real internet? To adapting fan favorite stories She's gonna and show us into Pokemon Kanto. With this title, we're excited the anime. to Oh, you mean, or, or is she gonna try to show Pokemon us the fucking, universe, that thing that, uh, Centro threw at us? To bring this new world to life, maybe we've partnered with the amazing creative team at Dwarf Studio. The series Dwarf Studio, the Dwarf Studio. Am I getting fucking gnomed right now with this presents? Haru and the many Pokemon who visit as guests. Okay, okay, mom, I get it. Where's your fucking kid at? She's the real. They're the real intern that is doing this. You're just kind of existing. Get out of here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's it, it's this. Pokemon Resort. Uh, I wish there was subtitles. Oh, there is. You like subs? How dare you? I like dubs better, but like, if they're not gonna bother with it, then... Gotcha. Oh, this is something new. I didn't see this. Why do you bring back... Are they Yo, using Pokemon Sun and Moon music? A new animated series brought to you by Netflix. No, it's Scarlet oh, no, Violet. Is, uh... I, I, I this thought it was royalty-free music for a second there. <laughs> now, we'd like to present the latest news. Cause you know how like games. they sound like royalty-free music a little bit in the beginning. Please take it away. Yeah. Anthem-wise, yeah. Pikachu. Oh no! Please stop. Hello. I'm Charizard! Yutsamoya, please! Have you all been making good progress with your treasure hunt in the Paldea region? We beat it in three days! Today, we have updates on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. But first, please take a look at the latest look at updates his watch. on several of our other games. Look at his, uh, look at his uh, Pokemon shirts, t-shirt, uh, polo shirt. Hey, look! What was I? What was I talking about? We're gonna see like a good hey, look, chunk Chinese of Chinese spyware. The game. I like China. China's great. Xi Jinping, all the way, baby. No, I'm kidding. I'm fucking kidding. I'll only play this again if they if they rebuff. Uh, what's his name? You know what's funny? I played this once three years ago, like the demo. Of wow! It. I I knew this was coming. It can cut a broad swath with its slash attack. It Stop putting it in the game before you officially release it, you fucks. They did the same if you thing don't want it to get leaked. They did the same thing with Masters, especially with the plushies in Masters. Have you seen those? I like his uh, tuxedo. And he looks more fuckable that way. Complete missions to receive rewards. Don't worry about it. Look, it's a board game with like five spaces. Oh, you mean it's it's Pokemon Party? Oh, that's true. That's definitely gonna give let me give China my my information. We're distributing a gift code for a special item, and we're hosting an invitation that you could probably get in other ways. 
check out how the battles are going on the official Pokemon Unite social Why does Dragonite look like Creed? Win their way through each league will come he does! Together <laughs> Why does he fucking look like Creed? Look forward to Asia's greatest Unite battles and we'll keep so, uh, to enjoy in Pokemon Unite in the future. So who's Rocky then for a Dragonite? Hey, Pokemon you got Cafe Remix. Let's go. You got you got something new. You got something. Which uh... Bro, Pokemon Cafe Remix, yo. I'm sorry. Is that a Fido? She, she yeah. They fucking cooked the Fido China style. Oh God. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Did you see the lechon? <laughs> Dish has brought some customers to the cafe. Here at the cafe, yeah, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Cafe remix game. We meet Pokemon from the Paldea region. Sprigatito, Quacoco, and Quaxly whip up plenty of serving. Okay, now we know how to pronounce Quaxly, everybody. Now everybody stop pronouncing it as Quaxly. through the event, and you'll be able to choose. Have you heard people can pronounce it that way? Which one no, but I heard, someone pronounce, I heard someone pronounce Sprigatito as Sprigato. We're also giving away a special yeah, you got a, you got a special case of special ed if that, that, that's how you're pronouncing that. More. You can now deliver to a Actually, you know what's funny is my older sister called Sprigatito Sprigatitty. To celebrate this special development, you can enjoy a bonus 11 <laughs> She's like, oh, Celebi! Yo, Eevee! Yo, Kento! On Nintendo Switch or your mobile device. I like how we associate all Gen 1 Pokemon with Kanto! Woo! Your cafe next. Steve, yes! I hope you're ready. Oh, it's Masters. It's come. Masters. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna have a heart attack. I was attack. excited for a second. <laughs> I was gonna have a heart attack. Shut I was on. gonna be like, no. No, I don't want to drink the. No, stop it. No hot sauce. Come on. All right. Oh. My wish is for Galos trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Oh my God, he has British accent. I I thought it was New Zealand for a second there. I was like, wait a minute. I want to hear wanna British rap speak. Oh, I I saw this on Twitter. I saw this on Twitter. Yeah. We got dictator fucking hop. And then this guy gets a hatrine outfit. Pink is all well and good, I suppose. But I think I'll cover you in the color of bean. Listen, bean, bean, you don't need to sound gay. You already look gay. Let me show you the power of spike. You were, you were this close to being Scottish, and I would have appreciated you. Let's get this started. Hey, Swamp. Can we skip this? Hey, Swamp. Pokemon I can't yeah. wait for them to fuck up Spanish accents for, for Paldea. I know, right? Or Portuguese. Moving on, please have a look at this video. Where's the Pikachu? Whoa, Pokemon Go. Oh no, this is Pokemon Sleep. Oh, I'm so ready to fucking go to sleep now. Maybe this will cure my insomnia. Oh wow, it looks like Pokemon Home! Literally! <laughs> it looks like Pokemon Home! Good night. Sleep Whoa, this look at this actual gameplay. Yep, that sounds about that sounds about right with the slow burrow. Sounds about right. That's how I picture slow burrow sleeping. La, 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 Did we catch any good Pokemon? La, la, oh fuck, uh, this might be DMC music. Is it? I can't tell. Uh, well, we got Vod mute. I'm muting the music's over. Good I'll let you know. I'll take the hit this time. 
You know what? I'll open up the sound pad and I'll try to help you uh, with the famous audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. <laughs> Audio jungle, is that what you're gonna do? You're a little too late now. Audio it's already... jungle. It's, it's, already, it's already over. A little too late. Pikachu! Ah, Pikachu! But at last, we can bring Pokemon Sleep to you later this year. When was this announced? Like, how many years the ago? The idea behind Pokemon Sleep I don't even remember. That was like that so long ago. To waking up in the morning. To get a better idea of what you can expect, please check out the next video. In about three years later. Welcome oh, no, right now, I'm Pokemon sorry. Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. On this island, oh, you are a great big Snorlax. Oh, Snorlax! Oh, Snorlax! Professor Neroli, who is researching Pokemon Sleep. It's easy to play on this island. All you have to do is get a good night's sleep. I. If you leave your smartphone. This better your come out after night, this direct. Your sleep will be measured. No, it's gonna come out in 2030. Okay, they're not ready yet. Once that's done, it will be categorized into one of. The 2030. Types. I'm counting it right now. Snoozing or slumbering. I want the dark cry when I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> I want to never come back. I want to never come back. As Thanks, Darkrai. So, so what would you call uh, melatonin or overdosing on melatonin? What kind of sleep type is that? I'm asking. Yo, Goofy sleep. That one's you. <laughs> Get lots of sleep and try to find them all. What? Well I'm not gonna be sleeping with one eye open. Fuck that. But what if I? But what if I want to sleep with like melatonin in my system? How about that? With a little bit of Zequil. Well, you'd probably get Snorlax then, let's be honest. What if I get, like, blacked out drunk tired sleep? Like, I drink enough fucking liquor. You get Spinda. You get Spinda. Available for iOS and Android devices later this year. Later this year, suck my dick! It's such a dumb name. This is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus accessory. What do you mean it plus plus plus? I, when when, when is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus? This device has not been authorized as, request, as required by it. Press the, the FTC? Going to bed. Yeah. And press that button once again when you wake up in the morning. Just like that, your sleep data has been... Pikachu! There's a Pikachu within your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Now watch them find some weird conniving way to fucking integrate this into a Pokemon home. Oh, so you want all of them, motherfucker? Well, now you gotta play this to put them in the home. Even unlock new alarm sounds for you. It's like why, why would you want to sleep with a Pikachu? That just sounds sus. No, I want to sleep with the demonic Pikachu that's with Ishihara. Me too. <laughs> Smartphone, you can I, I want that thing to sleep and steal my fucking soul. Alternate style. Pokemon. They're wait, they're sending all the data to the CCP. I wouldn't be surprised. As well, at the press of a button, there are future plans to add new functionality that'll use your sleep data in Pokemon Go too. Stay I, tuned for more. I don't fucking care. I stopped playing what Go after think? I found out. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus device should be available to purchase in July. And by linking the Pokemon Go Plus Plus to your Pokemon this Go is depressing. Game, you'll get access to special research in Pokemon Go that will This is fucking depressing. I don't need the Pokemon Go the Plus Plus just for the Snorlax Look with the night app. To come about Pokemon Sleep and the Pokemon I don't, Go Plus Plus device. I don't want to hear about this. I don't care. They've wasted so much fucking time, that's true. And next... We turn to the latest updates about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Ah. The newest games in the Pokemon DLC series, time. which were released in yeah, November last Yeah, my favorite. Year. You wasted so much fucking time for this shit. Let's hear. Oh, you thought. Oh! Oh, that is Whoa. one way to introduce him! How interesting! Mm. 
Man, I can't wait for someone to figure out how to solo these raids. <laughs> New Paradox Pokemon have been found Walking in Wake and Iron Leaves? Ooh. It seems Walking Wake appears in Pokemon Scarlet. That's Iron interesting. Leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. And we were thinking they were going to be fusions. You'll be able to catch them for yourself by claiming victory in a Terra Raid battle event. The event will begin not long after this broadcast, as soon oh! as preparations are complete. Oh, I guess I know what I'm doing tonight. We hope you'll team up with family, friends, and other trainers to take on this challenge. That yeah, I'm gonna totally team up with family. Let's by family you mean me? To Pokemon Go. Oh, I called it. Give me Gully Vat. In Pokemon Go, you can receive gifts from friends or by visiting Pokestops around the world. These gifts come with postcards. Once it's possible to connect these games, you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game, and you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appear there will change based on the postcard's location. Yes, we already know and this. On the Pokemon Go side, the players oh, who wait. have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul in that game. So why are you mentioning Try this now? If there's no home integration unless Gimme there's home integration. To evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go. We're also planning to begin Pokemon Home support for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon there Violet it is. early this year. There it is. So probably about May or June. Then you'll be able to bring roaming form Gimme Ghoul April, that you May caught or June. Pokemon Swap. Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via Pokemon Home. I just grabbed home. both my Switches. We hope you look forward to it. And finally, we'd like to share our last video for today with you. Hmm? Show me the Please Pikachu. I have, hmm. Pikachu. Whoa, look at this gameplay. Man, they really up the gameplay, huh? Yeah, dude. I can't wait for, uh. I can't wait to see how, uh, how this Monkey. runs on my, Ninten my Nintendo Switch. Uh, hold on. That looks very Johto-esque to me. Show me virtual that's... console or I'm going to murder you. Uh, Swamp, that, that's, that looks very... Uh, uh... No. No. No, 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 hold on, hold on, wait. Don't hold play up. with me like this. Don't, don't, hold on. Shh. Oh, it's DLC related. We're fine. We're fine. Oh. We're, it's DLC. I'm disappointed. Who are those? That's interesting. They didn't. They just decided to keep it as separate names. The teal. Now I see what's going on. Okay. Uh, Ishihara, are you sure this is the last thing? I think you're forgetting something important. Nope. That's that's the third legendary. That's the third legendary. DLC will be available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. The Hidden Treasure Surprise, of Area Zero will be released in two parts, with part one, The Teal Mask, coming oh, in fall mind. 2023. Part two, The Indigo Disc, will be distributed in winter 2023. Okay. Purchasing the hidden treasure of Area Zero will allow you to enjoy playing both parts of the DLC with the save data you already have in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. Okay. In part one, the Teal Mask, you'll be visiting the land of Kitakami as part of a school trip as your adventures expand beyond the Paldea region. And in part two, the Indigo Disc. Oh, oh, did my internet die? Oh, my stream died. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I guess I don't get to see it. 
Yo, is Meta be studying cool. as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. All right, we're back. During these adventures, you'll be able to encounter some familiar Pokemon that you didn't see living in Paldea. The legendary Pokemon that newly appear in the hidden treasure of Area nope, Zero. I'm back. My stream died for like a split second with there. Its fearsome mask and Terrapagos, resplendent in its glittering aura. Please look forward to a new story that will unfold in two parts as you discover the roles that both these Pokemon will play in your adventure. So I'm like a little bit behind the you right treasure now. Treasure of Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo uh, eShop shortly after this presentation. Gosh, that and Zoroark. As soon as you make your purchase, you'll be able to get the new uniform set. What's and special new about it? Oh, it knows Happy Pokemon Hour. Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game. As an early purchase bonus. We've also prepared a serial code that will allow you to claim a special Hisuian Zoro arc for your in-game team. Oh, so this is the Hisuian Zoro arc we saw in the we early trailers of Scarlet and Violet, by the way. In the Pokemon Scarlet and I'm gonna Pokemon call it Violet now. Games. What did you think? Pikachu! As we move forward, we'll keep trying to find new ways to bring the joy of Pokemon yeah, to you Yeah, uh, it looks like you're safe, by the way. Thank you for tuning in. I dislike this. Well, well, before... Well, I, I thought that was, um... Not good. That was... That was not good. What do you, what'd you think? Why is this video private? What the fuck? Well, I thought I thought that was shit because now I don't get to see you suffer. Yeah, me too. I'm glad I don't get to suffer. You know what? I spent two bucks on this. You know what? Nah. Uh, you know I'll do a little bit, just a little bit. My my body is like fucking like like my body's like fucking like convulsing right now because it doesn't want me to put this on my fucking mouth. <laughs> I like on your stream, it's just the picture of the nut peeping. Fuck! drop by the way see no no if that didn't get ported that they did port those to the <laughs> the switch i would have had to doubt douse myself in that <laughs> <laughs> my tongue is numb my tongue is fucking numb jesus fuck okay i thought that was i thought that was ass Ugh. I thought that was ass. <laughs> <laughs> I know, my, like, my fucking tongue is thumbed out. Great. Very mm. cool. Very cool. I mean, okay, other than my stream dying for like a split second there. Here, I have to show this video. I'm legally required to by law. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Video Bro, on. take it off of private. That's the problem. Go into YouTube Studio. Um, let me let me cope real quick with the fucking ghost pepper that I just had. <coughs> that was a drop, by the way. Fuck off. That that's never being touched again. It's still burning my fucking tongue. Anyway. Um. <laughs> Paul Dale DLC, let's fucking go. 
I'm hype as hell. Also, what was with the cursed Pikachu robot? I don't know. Swap, what do you think? I thought the cursed Pikachu was funny. I, I thought I thought that I'd see it in my dreams. So Okay, so the DLC, I there's nothing really to be said about it. Nothing to be fucking said about it whatsoever. It, it's just well, it, it's what you it, it's what what I what I was thinking was gonna be. No gameplay. We'll get art later, twenty twenty three. I was thinking they weren't gonna like, you know, I thought they were gonna hold off on the legendaries. I guess not. Yeah, same. Um. But we got the picture of, uh, we got a picture of, I, I can't speak properly, thanks to this ghost pepper, thanks. Um, we got a picture of the legendary, though. That's cool. Yeah. It looks like a fuck, it does look like a fucking turtle. The greatest Pokemon hot takes. Anyway, so that, that was my thought. Thoughts on that. Uh, presents was ass. Also, stream dying for like a split second was ass too, but I digress. Let, let me watch this real quick. Let's let me see what these hot takes are. Gen one is not even good. The only redeeming quality is the glitches. Gen Facts. The only redeeming quality to Kanto is is the glitches. I I can confirm. I can fucking confirm. Playing all four games, I can confirm. Gen 2 is just trying to mimic Gen 1. Gen 3. Uh. No, Johto's just sucking the teat of Kanto. He is good, but because it has so much water, it literally just feels like a slog to get through. Now. <laughs> now, I agree. Too much water. Um. There are parts of it that are like a slug to get through. Just kinda. I'm gonna, gonna drop a link to this video in chat and then host Flammy or Braid or whatever the term is now. I don't fucking know. You're gonna go, you're gonna go back to sleep. I'm gonna go to school. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish watching this and then I'm gonna move on with my shit. So, right. but hey, thank you for coming over, man. Thank you for putting up with this insanity. I can't even hear you. You're like, stop masturbating. Yeah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> setting up a raid right now. Okay. But yeah, thank you for coming over, man. Appreciate it. But um, yeah, let me finish watching this and then I'll move on. I don't even know if I'm going to have the rest of the stream to do because fucking ISP shit. But uh, there are some parts like the four tree routes that are, are fucking slog to get through. Gen 4. But I'll, I'll see you later, man. See you. All right. All right. Let, let's let's watch the rest of this real quick. Also, hi, peoples. <laughs> you're you're stuck with you're stuck with my my bitch ass for now, until uh, my internet dies. Because uh, for those who don't know, I got hit with the haboob yesterday, and uh, I, and now I'm gonna be sniffling all fucking day because this ghost pepper. Thanks. Is trying to be a good game, but it can't live up to Gen three. <laughs> wow you know what that's actually kind of accurate oh wow surprisingly sleep came back after 2.5 years of absolutely nothing I felt like it was like 4 years for some reason why did it feel like 4 years I guess that's why I guess that's how long it's been asleep but yeah and then come to find out, it's like no better than what Pokemon Home became. Chad, if you want a sleep stream of me playing Pokemon Sleep, I I'll do it. Just, just give me some time. I need to like fucking take like Z Quill and like Night Quill and shit. Platinum is better than Gen Three, and Gen Three fans won't admit it. <laughs> no, I I'll admit. <laughs> I'll admit Platinum's better. It's, a, it's the better Gen 4 game. But if I had to pick between Emerald and Platinum, 
I'm gonna go play Emerald, to be honest. <laughs> just cause there's certain parts of Platinum that just kinda make you groan. I.e. the fucking climax of the whole game. Cause let me be real, as much as I like the reverse world, no. <laughs> no, that part is a schlog. I'm a bit tired of Sinnoh right now. I don't blame you, I'm a little tired of talking about Sinnoh. Fire Red and Leaf Green are just mid remakes because let's go Pikachu and Eevee are better. Go fuck yourself. I, I hope you get fucking- I hope that the, when World War 3 starts, the Chinese fucking cuff you and fucking like- like completely rip your testicles off and treat you like they treat the fucking Uyghurs. Is that a little too far? Is that a little- is that a little too far? Is that a little too far? No, you know what? No. This fucking war crime of an opinion? Go fuck yourself. I hope the fucking king of England comes over and just fucking whips dick out on your ass. Go fuck- <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I am- I am fucking angry about that. Holy shit. I hope the worst fucking- I hope that your fucking- I hope you, your mother, your father, your fucking uh, three kids all fucking witness hell. And I hope Satan whips his fucking dick out and just goes all over the fucking place. Fuck your opinion on that. Absolute fucking disgraceful opinion. I hope- <laughs> I hope- the worst comes to you. I hope you get reincarnated to a fucking blade of grass, get eaten by a cow, get shat and reincarnated to that cow, get slaughtered by some fucking Pakistani guy, and then end up on a hot fucking steaming plate of like as a ribeye steak to be eaten by some fucking shitty influencer, and then shat out the toilet in, a, in fucking somewhere in the middle of New York City. I hope the worst for you, my dear friend. You deserve worse than death. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are just trying to be Platinum, but the thing is, they're not Platinum. <laughs> I like how chat took that seriously. Sticky says, Flamey, calm down. We're fine. We're good. We're good. It's, it's just, you know, war crime opinions right now. No fucking war crime opinions. Fuck Let's Go. Fuck anyone who likes Let's Go. Also, Whitney was easy. <laughs> Gen 5. <laughs> She's easy if you have rage, yeah. Yeah, she... <laughs> yeah, if you started the Croconaut, uh, Totodile, yeah, she's easy. Gen 5 is honestly pretty mid. Gen 5 too is uh, just trying to be Gen 5 again. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what? You know, I, I'll, 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 I'll agree. I'll agree just to piss off the Gen 5 babies. Yeah, Gen 5's alright. It's, it ain't, it ain't, your, it ain't fucking god tier status. But then again, <laughs> the fucking googly eyes on the fucking black, on white Kirim. Gen, Gen 5 is like the black sheep of the fucking, of the, of the whole series. And it really is, you know. And then you have Let's Go. That's, that's a dead sheep. That's a sheep that deserves to die. Much like that shitty war crime in a fucking opinion! But the problem with Gen 5 2 is that its story you literally just stands on the original. Alright, so for Kalos. <laughs> Can we go back? Is uh, just trying to be Gen 5 again. But the problem with Gen 5 2 is that its story you literally just stands on the original. Five, you mean hear the rest of the opinion? You have fucking Slumpert say you call it Gen 5 2? Listen, I I'm gonna be honest. I'd be calling it Action 52 because that's what Gen 5 really is. All right, so for Kalos, those games are trying to be the 2D Pokemon, and also the characters are bland. You're right. <laughs> that's wasn't me who said that. It sounds so much like you. I will do stuff. Well, go short, bro. You're kind of mad. Characters, those games. Hold on. Trying to be the 2D Pokemon, and also the characters are bland. Your rivals and stuff. Oh, <laughs> I would also add that Gen 6, as far as like, with the exception of Oraz, is very incomplete. If you know what I mean. Because you know, priorities, timing. Short. Bro, you're kind of mad. Oras is 
this just gimmicky because of Mega Evolution? Honestly, Mega Evolution just makes Gen 3 easier. <laughs> you know what? Okay, yeah. The way they fucking implement it. Okay, yeah, as much as I give Oras the, the praises that it deserves. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You know, it does, it does, it kind of does. And you know what, they did kind of soften some of the hard blows of Gen 3, which is, is, um, the, the May route fight. They, they did soften some blows. Yeah, I, I agree. Yellow is just a gimmick because Pikachu <laughs> and, and literally nobody cares about it. Crystal. Fair enough. is literally just a gimmick because it has Suicune on the front. <laughs> you can say that about every sister game though every fucking sister game emerald uh fucking crystal crystal's gimmick wasn't even the fact that it was a sister game crystal's gimmick was it had communication features that don't exist in america because fuck america they bombed us also nintendo couldn't make a profit on that shit and the see-through cartridge is the gimmick, too. That, too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that really isn't so much a gimmick anymore, is it? Because, you know, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and then, um, Black 2, White 2's cartridges. Nobody should play Crystal. Pokemon Facts. And green is just trying to be Pokemon Blue because Blue is obviously better. <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> the joke! The joke is that they're both the same fucking game! Just what has updated sprites? But he's Pokemon Blue isn't Japanese <gasps> enough. <laughs> I'm so glad he made that joke. I'm so glad he made that fucking joke. Cause it's true. It's true. Cause if you just turn it into green, now it's Japanese enough. What does that even mean? <laughs> it just feels too English, you know. Pokemon Coliseum's bonus disc honestly doesn't taste good enough. Fucking facts, it doesn't have donut icing on it. Pokemon Snap on the N64 honestly has graphics that look like I threw myself in a microwave. Jesus. Pokemon Channel is better than Gen 3. <laughs> you know... <laughs> I should I should add I should add Pokemon Channel to Super Show. The part of Gen 3, you stupid? Well it's still mid. I'm here on the scene. I see. And there you The plot of a Pornhub video for Pokemon. Have it. That ends my report from the scene. Fake fucking news. And Jirachi sucks. Pokemon teach. I have to admit, Jirachi is kind of fucking mid as a mythical. She's typing. Doesn't teach me typing very well. But it gives you a free keyboard. I want a free keyboard. My keyboard sucks. The Toys R Us events are overrated and GameStop Pokemon events because they're just hand-me-outs of Pokemon. Poke you can say that about all fucking events. Look at Scarlet and Violet's fucking events. <laughs> Scarlet and Violet's events are the worst by far. They're literally just fucking item hand-me-outs. Pokemon Ranger is just drawing damn circles. Not unless you're drawing penises like I do. I am tired of it. Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Omnia honestly is a gimmick because it still focuses on drawing circles. Not unless you're drawing penises, then it becomes a dick gimmick. Get it? A dick it. And you can't expand your horizons to squares, triangles, or rectangles. But I draw penises all the time. So you could say it's a dick it. I prefer rhombuses. Pokemon Stadium. I prefer penises. Was trying to Did I meet my dick quota for the stream? No? Okay. Be Mario Party, but it fails every time because nobody ever wants to play it. <laughs> oh yeah, also Pokemon Stadium's gameplay is literally just normal Pokemon battles, but worse. And you have to rent Pokemon to even compete if you just own the game. Poke I mean, unless you, unless you fucking, you know, did what I did, which is fucking use the same data of, like, your Gen 1 games, then it becomes, like, a little more amusing, but I have to admit, Stadium is kind of fucking eh. Pokemon Stadium 2 is similar, and it's literally same issues. They didn't fix anything, almost oh, as if they didn't I care. Like Gold and silver. 
I haven't even played Stadium 2 yet, but I have a feeling that's what I'm gonna expect. Honestly, just feel like Pokemon Stadium 1, but they just didn't try hard game. enough. And the mini games weren't as good. XD and Gill of Darkness, honestly, those games are just trying to be too edgy, and it's basically Pokemon. Isn't XT Gale of Darkness the same fucking game though? Pokemon's like devs going through their edgy phase. The reason it's so bad is because they didn't know what Pokemon were. The Pokemon Mini isn't even a real game. It's just trying to be one. All of the games on it. Also, the cartridges don't taste very good. You're right. They don't taste like Cheez-Its. They taste like fucking, um... They taste like arsenic poisoning. Which is what I'm getting with this fucking video. They don't have the same taste as the Switch. I'm not a fake fan! I just don't- They like the Bible. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Some people could argue that I'm like a fake fan too, because even though I study the lore like a fucking Bible, I can't tell you what, what the fucking ability- a hidden ability of a fucking Magikarp is. Even if it has one. Uh, hey you Pikachu is basically just screaming in the mic and pretending to be Elvis Presley. I also get so in other words, it's just being a streamer minus the Twitch shit. Got it. To practice my streamer voice. Hey, hey, hey! But Pikachu still doesn't listen. Is that why? Pikachu doesn't, it won't even listen to you anyway. <laughs> Pikachu don't like anybody. He's just tired. He's tired. He wants to be retired. He wants to go to Florida in his retirement home and fucking like fuck off like ashes. Oh, wait, too soon? Yeah, go subscribe to Brett. This is a good video. Pokemon Pikachu is trying to be Picross because I can't see. Pokemon Rumble U is better content than Gen 1. Pokemon <laughs> it's true! I mean, Rumble, the Rumble series is really good. I need to play the Rumble series eventually. <laughs> it's fucking true. Picross, honestly, has more development time than Pokemon Rumble U because Pokemon Rumble U is just somebody trying to make a game for mobile. My Pokemon Ranch is just trying to be a storage system, but it's not as good as Bank. Poke Bank is like... I mean, Bank was pretty good, though. And then we got this fucking trash fire. Let, let me hear this opinion. Pokemon Home is literally a scam. <laughs> You know, I've been, I've been silently like thinking that for like so fucking long, especially with how bank operates now after like, you know, after the whole, well, guess what? Now banks free shit. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I can't. Thank you. Somebody fucking said it. Thank you. Somebody fucking said it. And it wasn't me silently. Pokemon box is actually cool, but Pokemon bank shouldn't cost money. It should be free. Uh, I did say this video. <laughs> Thank you, somebody said it. Right. Yeah, now it is, but it wasn't before. <laughs> it's $5 a year. I think that's kind of possible. That's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little... I mean, I mean, compared to the $20 home offers, and home's just a fucking piece of shit. You can't even have your fucking Pokemon transferred properly, and let alone, you have to deal with the finickiness of other games and their integration. Fucking BDSP, for a great example, and Legends. And for all the praise Legends gets, its home compatibility is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> fuck. I mean, uh, bank being free now is, uh, is a little fucking slap to the face of everyone who's paid. All the Pokemon Rumble games? are just baby's first game mobile Poke <laughs> okay but to be fair those baby games are fantastic watch me play this and then end up like fucking sucking like i did kirby come on rumble on the 3ds makes me want to shake my 3ds and throw it off a cliff during an earthquake into a volcano 
Pokemon Pinball it has too much pinball in it. Pokemon Look. Pinball Ruby and Sapphire is honestly better than the original Pokemon Pinball. But if I'm being honest, that game just makes you want to step on it. I mean, you could say that about like 90% of Game Boy Advance games. Also, Snakey says play Rumble except for Rumble U. Rumble U sucks, does it? I actually only played Rumble Blast and Rumble. I've never played Rumble U. But then again, I never owned a Wii U because I wasn't fucking stupid. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is just trying to redo a genre that was dead. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Uh, yeah, 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 you're, you're correct. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I get with Mystery Dungeon. But even though Mystery Dungeon kind of does it a little bit correctly. Pokemon Play It sounds pretty bad, honestly. Hey, my name is Julie. Oh, oh, I remember this! <laughs> I remember this. This is a night. Oh, chat. We have to play. I have to play this for you guys one day. I remember playing this game as a kid. Oh, this, this, this is, this brings back trauma. <laughs> I'm a Pokemon trainer. Oh, are you now? Just like you. <laughs> the Pokemon card game on Game Boy is just trying to be the Pokemon games on Game Boy. The Japan exclusive one never came to the US, so it's just bad. You never came to Japan, so does that mean you're bad? Yes! <laughs> yes, yes! Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2 slash, you know, Explore the Sky, all those games are literally just the first Mystery Dungeon game. They, they could have just improved the graphics, but they didn't, and they didn't try with that. The story's Great, don't get me wrong, but honestly, in general, those games are kind of mid. The rest of the Pokemon mystery- But wait a minute, are the, isn't the, like, let the Mystery Dungeon sequels, like, a lot harder, though, too? From my understanding? I never played it, I never played them, so I don't know. I played these. These I've played. We gotta have to check, we gotta check this out. We gotta check these out, chat, eventually. I have them on my Wii, so we have to check them out. I played these, but like the sequels to Mystery Dungeon, if I remember correctly, they're like, they're like, you know, a little bit harder, aren't they? Mystery Dungeon games have to do with friendship. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, but when anytime you bring friendship up and you bring My Little Pony in, that kind of screams that it, like there needs to be more Fluttershy and Twilight Sparkle in it. So I don't know. Also, that one with Mew is kind of stupid because why did they make such a convoluted plot? The 3DS camera. I mean, to be fair though, the 3DS Mystery Dungeon games are kind of shit, so. That one shouldn't exist because it makes your 3DS want to explode. I, I, you know what? Playing those games makes my head explode because they are just that fucking bad. Chat, I don't know if you've ever played, like, if you haven't played these, go download the demo of, of Gates of Infinity. It, it, it is one of the most fucking infuriating fucking games. Flamey, do you still have an open game slot? I uh, should, yeah, why? What's up? You want to play a mystery dungeon game? Or do you want to play uh, Gates of Infinity? Pokemon Dash is too fast and it makes me want to throw my stylus into the nearest nice garbage shot. can. Pokemon you fuck. You fuck. You had an opportunity to say, in the trash. And <laughs> I fucking hate you. Also, yes, you're right. The dash is fucking shit. The snap, new snap for the Nintendo Switch should have been for the Game Boy Color. So Sun and Moon, honestly. Swampert's like, Pokemon Dash is bad. I can't convert it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty terrible. Let's go back to Snap. I want to hear this because I lost interest in Snap, new Pokemon Snap. I played it for like a few parts and then I never streamed it again. It makes me want to throw my stylus into the nearest nice garbage shot. can. Pokemon Snap. New snap for the Nintendo Switch should have been for the Game Boy Color. So <laughs> yeah, it, listen, I'm gonna be honest. I fucking I was so bored with that game. Like, maybe it's just because I didn't grow up with the original Snap. I fucking ha did not have any interest in New Pokemon Snap solely because I just didn't care. Like by the time I got to like the third island i think or the second island i just i just zoned the fuck out because i just didn't care the game was fucking boring i own a physical copy of pokemon dash i'm sorry for your loss you want me to play rumble i could do that the sun and moon honestly feel like they should have gyms but they don't <laughs> 
they just wanted to go on vacation in Alola. Well, it, the whole point of like Gen 7 Alola is that it, the reason why it doesn't have gyms is there's no league. They have a system before leagues. But you're right, it does feel like it should have gyms, and it, it does have a gym. It's just very gimmicky, and it's not really a gym, it's a surge. Sun and Moon relied too heavily on references, so that's why people don't care about them. Oh no, 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 my son. My, my, my son. Listen, I'll, I'll tell you why nobody fucking cares about Sun and Moon. And it's not because of the nostalgia bait. It, it's because... There isn't much to begin with. Uh, if you take out the nostalgia bait, the fact that Megas exist, and then you take out the fucking Ultra Beast, all that's left is a fucking crystal that everybody can collectively say fucking sucks. Z moves are fucking terrible. I'm pretty sure nobody wants them back. So if you take any of that shit out, you have an empty game with very little story to begin with. And then on top of that, you add Yusum into the mix. And all Yusum ever provides, if you take those three elements out, Ginger Bitch, Purple People, two new funny Ultra Beasts, a new form of Lycanroc that is probably objectively worse than the other two. And then, and then, and then, they add a little more of the, the fucking confusion of, well, what timeline are we in? Because it's a fork between, uh, well, it's a fork between, uh, you know, the regular mega timeline and a different mega timeline. And then it, all of that also adds left, which I really feel like, and I thought about this too in, in, on my couch. All Yusum should have been was DLC. It should have never been a separate game. And I think Game Freak knows that too, because that's why they've been doing DLC ever since. <laughs> so, to be telling you the truth, son, Nostalgia Pay ain't just it. There's a lot more to that hot sauce. Gen 7 had the worst gimmicks between 7 moves, Z moves, and... So, oh. Don't you dare besmirch my beloved D Dusk Lycan Rock. Sna uh, Snakey, I want you to play Scarlet and Violet and try and get a fucking Dusk Lycan Rock. And then come talk to me. Ultra Sun and Moon were just trying to fix the problems with Sun and Moon, and they didn't even focus on making it a better game. No, you're right. They should have stayed. It should have been stayed as DLC. That's that's the point. Uh, Team Rainbow Rocket pretty mid because they didn't realize their full potential. They just gathered even more people and created an end game moment. The reason why I'm laughing is, if you think about it, Silver's logic against his dad's is, I don't need anybody, and Giovanni's like, I need more bitches. We clearly see, but then he has more bitches in his line, it don't work. <laughs> when will he learn? <laughs> Team Yell. <laughs> Team Posey Creeple, by the way. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Was the best evil team, and nobody is right about any other evil teams beating better because they're all mid compared to Team Yell. Team Yell is just tier three sub Twitch, uh, Twitch tier three subs, or like your average e, e girl streamer. Don't at me. You know what's right. Let's go, Pikachu and Eevee rely too much in cuteness, and it feels too much like Gen One. But wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait! Did it just say that they were superior to Fire Red and Leaf Green? Sword and oh, it's double speak. I got it. Okay. Shield have honestly pretty decent graphics, and the Whoa, trees look nice quite graphics. exquisite. Sword and now you know. <laughs> now I know you're fucking lying. <laughs> Shield is the best game in the franchise. BDSP is the best Pokemon game, and so is Sword and Shield. Legends sucks. 
Man, these are the best hot takes I've, sh I've heard so far. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are better than Platinum and every other Pokemon remake ever created. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I, I love, I love, <laughs> I love Ilka. Give me more Ilka, please. I want to see an Ilka Unified game. Legends Arceus should have had more competitive stuff in it. Mini, Mini is automatically bad. Gen 9 has zero bugs and glitches and runs flawlessly. I've never seen any frame rate in it, and it runs at... Okay, now, now you're pulling, now you're pulling, now you're kind of pulling. It was funny at first, and now, now we're getting to the point where it's like, ah, uh, okay, this is, this is just, you know. 900 frames a second. Furthermore, they should have went to my house to take pictures of textures. I'll get, I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll give, I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll give, that was funny. That was, that was good. That was good. Good job. I clap. <laughs> Fuck you for the war crime. Actually, you know what? The let's go war crime that you committed earlier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you down a notch. There you go. I'll put you down a notch. Okay. Very good. Very, very, very good. I still have the fucking nut pee. <laughs> I still have this fucking nut pee. All right, all right. So here's the thing, chat. All jokes aside, about that. Um, the direct, the presents fucking sucked. It was abysmally bad. Um, so I guess thank you to uh, Swampert for saving the fucking saving the fucking stream with that amazing video. Um. But what can I say is let let me look on Twitter. Let's see how Twitter reacted to this. I just get all Serebii shit. I I am getting bombasted with fucking why am I seeing Marnie with lingerie? Can can you fuckers like touch grass? God damn. Um Yeah, uh it's not good. Yeah, everyone's just memeing the fucking Pikachu. Uh, chat, I I'm going to say it right now. That that this fucking this I, 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 this, 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 this presents was miserable. This was not a good present. Uh, it's, it's, Chad is saying they disagree. Hold on. I thought the presents was great, mostly because I'm very easy to please. I, I, oh, here's the thing. They rely too heavy on fucking marketing. Which I know, I know. But when majority of your fucking presents is 16 minutes worth of fucking marketing. And I counted, by the way. I did, I counted. 16 minutes of marketing, 4 minutes of anything game related. I agree, Flume. Yeah. It, it, it's, it was pretty bad, right? And then with the DLC shit. Okay, I, I, I'll admit, at least we got the, 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 the legendaries, but... What else is there? Really? We got images, we got JPEGs. And an exp and a loose explanation. Um, as far as anything else that was rumored, um, this is why I come into this with like low expectations because, chat. As much as I would love that stuff to happen, I I am kind of glad I'm right that it's a tall ask of Game Freak. So, I didn't want to be right, but I am right about the master collection shit that is a tall ask you're asking from game freak i'm not saying it's lazy but i am saying it is a tall order especially when they have this crunch deadline and i know listen i know it's easy to just throw some roms in an update and be like boom there you go we clearly know how easy it is i'm talking about the other part of it which is the home integration part 
I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to do what they did with bank with home. And I also don't see them seeing any benefit in doing that. So I, I hate being right, but I am right. It is a tall order, and I don't think they're going to do it anytime soon. As far as Legends Johto Unova 2.5D Johto game, I fucking mystery dungeon game, I all that other shit. Um, this is why I go into this shit with like minute expectations. It, it is I don't see this actually happening. Um, not yet at least. There's next year or. There's another Pokemon Presents probably this time this year. Sometime around when they decide to get more information about the DLC. So I'm thinking if they have home support around April, May, they're going to do a Presents sometime around June or July. Maybe earlier, maybe May. That, that's my kind of a, that's kind of where I stand. Um, but as far as this, 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 this wasn't a good Presents. This was more byproduct and uh, play mobile game than it was anything else. And uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but you know, we uh, you know, we gotta appease one group of people. We got, we got it, we got a piece. We got a piece, we got a piece. A certain market. We get, we got a piece a certain market. That, that's, that's really all it boils down to. We gotta appease the, the, the collapsing housing economy market. Because if we don't... <laughs> we don't, uh, we all go to war and we all die, so... We gotta shut up the masses with Pikachu. Actually, you, you know what? You know what? Here, here... here. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this fucking image real quick. I wanna take. I wanna take this image and I wanna do something real quick. Cause I, I feel like this image needs. Needs a little more, a little more uh, spice to it to appease the market. You know, listen, I'm not afraid to fucking make fun of China, okay? My stepmother's Chinese. She's from Shanghai. She's an American citizen now. I don't have to worry about. I don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, by the way, that was news. My my stepmother became an American citizen as of like earlier this year. So she uh she did she did good on her test. She's no longer a Chinese citizen, she's an American citizen. Good for her. Yeah. Yeah, good for her. Anyway. Oh! 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. You, you get the point. You get the point how I feel about this. This fucking- This fucking Barry, man! I- Can- Can I- can, Please get the shit off my fucking screen! God! A anyway. <laughs> Listen, we all know how I feel! We all know how I feel! Okay, come on. Come on! Alright. 